Hi there, this is Pride Daily. The murder of transgender people in Mexico City now carries a prison sentence of up to 70 years. A law has been passed to criminalise trans femicide, the killing of people because they're trans. Mexico is the second worst country in the world for transgender murders after Brazil. Roberto Marcia Vidal is an LGBTQ plus activist in Mexico. He tells ABC News Australia some incidents are just disregarded. Unfortunately, sometimes the governments silence us so as not to make much turmoil, since there have been a lot of killings of members of the LGBT population and of trans girls that have never been investigated. They're just shelved. 231 queer people were murdered in Mexico between 2021 and 2023. Two-thirds were trans. Turkey's president says the non-existent LGBT lobby has taken Europe and the West hostage. His comment comes off the back of the Olympics opening ceremony and a controversial drag reenactment of the Last Supper. President Erdogan also reckons he refused to go to the event after finding out the bequeer propaganda. Bet he wasn't invited. And the 1975 are being sued over an illegal same-sex kiss on stage in Malaysia. Matty Healy and Ross McDonnell got facially intimate at the Good Vibes Festival last year. Despite the country's strict anti-LGBTQ plus laws, it led to the event being shut down. Now the organisers suing the band and each member individually for just under £2 million. I'm Kev McGrath. See you tomorrow.